right here boys get him hit him with the little jukes right there on his skulls all right let's get to the money hey everyone welcome back to another calamity summoner only episode as you can see from my health i made it up here i was gonna work on a little like trophy room and eh, not really a trophy room more of like an armor room to show off all my stuff because i was just testing armor stands and apparently they work sometimes on 1.3 and mod loader because you know in the past they would just break and then you would lose your armor and stuff like that but i tested it with wolfram because wolfram is cheap and it worked out so maybe i could do like a little armor room slash weapon room to show off everything and i thought the laboratory up here would be perfect so i killed the turret almost died i think i had eight health exactly when i killed the turret uh, people told me just mine them with a pickaxe but you can't use a smart cursor so there you go and then i noticed there's some chest up here look at this chest they just threw seven gold in here just like that and then we got dubious plating mysterious circuitry dradon's charging station and then in here we got more gold encrypted schematic dradon's log interesting click to view its contents okay what the hell this is so tiny hung low in orbit masses of ground and various parts of the world provide a secluded and distant point for research undeniably optimal for the science of astronomy and otherwise in my labs here i grow many things testing their limits against the cold and vacuum of the stratosphere though not many survive the existence of a certain of certain creatures here confirm the capabilities of life simply give them more time uh there's another page you guys can read that bro <laughs> Just pause the video and read. This is a lot of reading. I'll, I'll read it myself. I don't even know. How do you close this? How do you close this? Help. Get it off my screen. How do I close it? I don't know how to close it. There you go. <laughs> uh what else do we have we got this thing encrypted schematic it's impossible to decipher so there's also this dude down here you, you right click on it and it tells you some stuff uh nothing too interesting i don't know it might be interesting to you but yeah this area i kind of wanted to make a little display area so i might do it so uh th there you go if this whole area gets a whole new look slash overhaul you know why so this is the current finished look of what i'm going for here might add more decorations I i'm not gonna touch it too much though honestly uh it's more of just like a display stuff or display area so we can see we got the wolfram armor set we got the victide armor set and then we got the weapons like we knew we used when we had that armor set pretty much uh and obviously when we're done with the b armor we'll put it here uh i don't know if there'll be enough weapons to put in these uh, actually there should be i think i'll add the slime staff and the hornet staff somewhere in here uh will i actually use the slime or the hornet staff probably not but uh, i may move some things around just to add those just to make sure that there's enough weapons i, I I mean, we still have a lot of stuff to do uh speak about stuff we're gonna do i think it's time to take on skeletron but i also think it's time to take on the perforator or my bad the perforators s hopefully we can summon the perforator up here i know we can fight the brain up here maybe we should start with the brain and then go from there i don't know we'll see okay here we are we're up here in the corruption island i don't know if we can get the assist to spawn well it can but it's a it's a little rare so it might just be easier going to another world and fighting the perforator we'll save that for later but we will fight the brain of cthulhu because it's the brain of cthulhu and i don't expect to have too much trouble against it so let's go ahead let's summon as many things as we can here i don't know what the combo is sure that works and let us fight it i shouldn't need any buffs for this i hope it's just the brain of cthulhu it's a nice and easy boss it shouldn't be a problem especially if we got a bunch of belladonna's out and a bunch of piercing summons out it really shouldn't be a problem the hardest thing is going to be honestly air control because we're a little floaty since we're pretty much in space so we might take a hit here and there because of that but it's still a boss that we should have fought ages ago uh if we did have the crimson but we had the corruption so we fought the eater so we should be chilling let me go ahead and target the boss just in case any of my summons are wandering around but boom bada bing new record brain cthulhu dead like i said perforator will be eventually when i figure out how to fight it because either assist has to spawn up there and we have to make that area big enough for assist to spawn or use a zerg potion but until then don't worry about it you know what i am worried about the corruption spreading right here look at this but yeah next up is the one and only skeletron what side is skeletron on the left side the one and only skeletron i'm ready all right we are here nighttime skeletron time let's do it i want to use the frogs but i have a feeling they're gonna be kind of whack because they have troubles going through platforms but you never know maybe they won't be whack i don't know look let's see if i can get them above the platforms look at that great <laughs> let's do it i should buff up first and let me throw in another vile feeder just in case all right let's get to the money oh did i get hit already god damn that hurt what the heck 
This hand is hurt. Okay. Boys get to it. All right. I'm desummoning the frogs already. Uh, they might just actually just suck because of the platform thing. I don't know. I feel like that's all summons that touch the ground. They just kind of suck unless they have projectiles. But those frogs, they have projectiles. They just get stuck everywhere. It's legit. They, I don't know. The platforms are summons weaknesses in this mod. Uh, it might be vanilla too. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to vanilla ground summons too often. But yeah, the day I'm recording this is the day before 1.4.1 comes out and i'm actually pretty excited you know it's a minor patch but i've heard that there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be in it in terms of changes in terms of con okay maybe not content but i heard there's supposed to be an npc in it there's gonna be a bunch of new vanities probably some of the best vanities we've ever seen in terraria are gonna be in this patch so that's something to be excited about i don't know if i should use a potion or not i got my summons just attacking whatever i don't really have anything specified here uh so let's hope that they do find attacking whatever the hell they're attacking um, I do have all the right gear on. I have a triple jump. Like, we should be more than fine. Now, this isn't my new Skeletron strat where I just straight up float around in a circle. That that new skeleton Skeletron strat is, is pretty good. We get the minecarts, we, we go around in a circle around him, and we just hope he dies uh, eventually. But let's see if we can do this here. He hits hard, but I hit harder. Not really. He, he, he slaps like a dad's belt. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of power behind that. Dad's belt. That's a new weapon. Damage 55. Knock back 30%. This shit is strong. So we gotta watch out. Well, he doesn't really have hands anymore. So maybe we don't have to watch out. Hit him with the little jukes right there on his skulls. Oh, I'm juking the hell out of these skulls. You better, you better try a little bit better, bro. You gotta try a little bit better. He heard me talking shit. He's doing the spin move. But get him out of here. He's out of here. All right, so what did he drop here? We got this. Favorite this item to gain increased damage while in the dungeon. However, your max health is decreased due to Skeletron's curse. Wow, amazing. Let's go into the dungeon, though, because this is not only where we get our hands on the bewitching table. Uh, we also get our hands on a new summon down here if we get the drop from the dark casters. So let's hope it happens. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, once we're deep enough in the dungeon where the music switches up, I will then favorite this thing. Oh there you go favoriting it okay we only lost 40 health but i do have a life force potion enabled so uh, we may lose even more i will take all these blue candles though thank you very much um maybe i'll grab some decorations while we're down here some body decorations hey i do have a gold key i have a gold key from when i broke a pot near here it might have been when i broke a pot near here too when we were in between where we found the sword shrine oh yeah people were telling me there was a sword shrine like right here somewhere uh i don't really care because i'm a summoner so I don't know if I'll ever check it out, but just know it's there, okay? Okay, that's a good thing to get, Shadow Key. I don't know actually if we'll use it at all in this playthrough, or if there's a weapon or accessory we need with a sh with the Shadow Key. Actually, can we do things in the Abyss with the Shadow Key? Okay, it might actually be useful. People have been telling me to go get an accessory that's in the Abyss, and then uh, people have also been telling me to get my hands on classless weapons. I'm just gonna see how far I can go without classless weapons, because I feel like I legit don't need them. Like, I had some dude, like, spamming on multiple videos that summoner wall of flesh on calamity is impossible it's like bro <laughs> i think i i think i've done wall of flesh with less oh here we go we got a dark caster get this motherfucker right here this one we're trying to get the summon from him i don't remember what it's called it has a weird name it has a cool name is what i should say okay i pulled up the recipe browser here to see the staff but as you can see it's just not showing up can i just type in staff there it is right there this is what we're looking for staff of necro steocytes this one and uh it's supposed to show that it drops from the dark caster but it doesn't show it i don't know why uh another reason why recipe browsers ass cheeks compared to cheat sheet right wink wink just kidding it's a joke okay i have the frog summon and as you can see there's not a single frog near me so i don't know these these things might just actually suck so maybe the people weren't wrong about it i still feel like they can be good just if they weren't stuck on everything look, look at this these motherfuckers, that, that dude is legit facing the opposite direction and he's just staying there. Like, what's up with their AI? You guys can make them float through the wall every now and then? Like, there's no summons with me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's one. Boom, bada, bing. Staff of what? Neocrecrocytes. What the fuck am I saying? Necrosteocytes. I'm just gonna. Staff of Necro. There you go. So, this thing summons in little baby skeletons, I think. So, let's see them in action here. Oh, fuck off. One, two, three, four, five. All right, go ahead, boys. Show them something. Show them, show them that you guys got the power. Okay, they're, they're killing things pretty quick. They also do do 42 summon damage. 
But it says that the skeletons leave behind bone cells. Bone cells? Interesting. These may be the go-to. They're ground units. But they seem to not get stuck as often as other ground units so far. Which, oh my god, I almost jumped into that arrow. Any ground unit that does that is good. Okay, I don't have any of them near me. But they're, they're doing better than the frogs so far. Right here, boys. Get them. Okay, yeah, I can get behind these summons. We're, we're in a cramped area too, so. Uh, oh, shit. I'll, I'll take me a uh, bewitching table, no problem. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the rest of the dungeon. If I see anything else interesting, I'll show you it, I guess. Okay, now that we have a shadow key, we can get the herring staff which is a really really strong staff i've been told and it's probably what's going to be very useful against the wall of flesh fight uh from the abyss so we got to find one of those chests in the abyss i don't know what the abyss looks like now but it looks way cooler instead of it just being legit i just pit this looks 10 times cooler than it did in the past and then aside from that we need to make a hell hole obviously for the wall of flesh and then we're probably going to try and get our hands on the oh, fuck what is it called molten is there molten in it fire blossom i, I know blossom is in it Come on, there you go. Cinder Blossom Staff. Uh, and look, we use both those staffs again later. I love when mods do that and even love when vanilla combines, you know, old stuff together to make new stuff that is stronger. That's always nice because it makes it so it's not a one and done thing. But yeah, Fire Blossoms, Lava Bucket, Hellstone. I could probably almost make that. I think the only thing I'm legit missing is Hellstone because I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of Fire Blossom here. Yeah, 68. Uh, Hellstone? No, see, I had to check. And then what else was there? Lava buckets. I got one lava bucket. This is better than zero. Yeah, so that means we got to make a hell hole. And I don't know if I have the mod in here that makes a hell hole really easily. Yeah, I don't think I do. I swear it was called Vader. Oh, wait, here we go. I thought it was called Excavator, but here we go. We got Instavator and we got Auto Elevator. I think the Instavator one is cooler, but I also haven't seen the Auto Elevator one. This one's like fucking quadruple the price. I think this one's going to be the easier one. Actually, I don't know. That dynamite might be expensive, though. How much dynamite do I have? we got three okay it's all good we got the money for it so let me make the elevator first to make the cinder blossom and then we'll go to the abyss hold up finally got a wolf room battery you know this has been on the like backlog for a minute trying to get this thing well i guess i haven't really tried to get it on purpose more of i hope my minions kill enough like they do look at them they're gonna go kill something i hope my minions kill enough drones to where it'll drop and it'll finally drop which means that we can craft the jelly charge battery aka we combine this accessory and the wolfram battery and then 10 purified gel i have no idea what the hell purified gel is is that that's what we get after we kill king slime i think i don't know let me check purified gel yes so it is after king slime or not king slime god slime all right got it uh, i mean i guess we still can't do anything with it i don't know if it's worth replacing any of my current accessories right now just for seven percent summon damage i mean it's not the worst maybe the balloons oh speak about replacing accessories uh, let's go back to the house here because all I've been doing off camera is trying to get NPCs to move in. As you can see, we got more NPCs here. I made like a whole sky base for NPCs over here. Uh, I know you see box houses over here, but there's decorations in those box houses. So they don't look just like box houses. But yeah, let's go ahead and craft the wings because we'll beat Skeletron, meaning we can get our first set of wings here. The skyline wings and we got to replace the balloons. I'm sorry, bundle of balloons. You got to you gotta go. I think the wings are going to be better let's just see their wings i mean of course they're gonna be a little bit better i think i'd rather be able to fly than jump super high because we can still break our ankles when we jump super high but when, when it comes to flying can't break my ankles i got i got wings now to stop that but yeah um one other thing we can finally do somewhere in here i swear i made it did i not make it yet maybe i didn't make it yet the instavator there it is boom let us go ahead and use this i don't know where i want to use it probably just like right here right at spawn hold up oh if you guys notice look at my map my whole entire map got reset when I logged in. I don't know what happened. It's kind of upsetting. But uh, I guess let's blow a hole right here. Sure, why not? Let me just clear out some stuff. Clear out my bird house. Put this back here. Uh, I guess clear out this Fargo statue. And let us do it. Boom. It's going to give us a little lag spike. But we should now have a clear hole from the top of the world to hell. Look at my skeletons falling at insane speeds. Ten times faster than me. Maybe I should desummon them. They're kind of they're kind of glitching out a little bit. But we should be chilling all the way down here. Yes, sir. And then I got to make a little exit or a little stopping area right here. But yeah, we're good to go. All right. It's a whole new day. I'm recording this 1.3 point. Fuck. 1.4.1 is out. Very nice. I did a video about that. And I got a cool hat shirin hat don't know where this came from but let us make what we're gonna make 
what was it a fire blossom something like that a fire extinguisher yeah sure why not well let me make one you know it's all about safety out here blossom there it is cinder blossom staff now is this another summon that just goes above my head let's see it is can i summon multiple this is a century right no it's not a century what the fuck i don't understand why this isn't a century they, they should make this a century i want to see it in action but we also have to go to the abyss at some point in time um so let's quickly try and find an enemy i guess here we go handle that it's okay it's okay but yeah now we have to go to the abyss and open up shadow chest now i have no idea what the hell we do in the abyss to stay safe so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this fire extinguisher in here there you go stay safe and what i'm gonna do is just go on the wiki real quick look up every like thing i can get my hands on before i go into the abyss uh, in terms of safety and then we'll go from there i guess i don't really want to use the cinder blossom stuff i'm gonna leave it here okay I don't know what happened. I used one of the potions that this NPC sells. This dude right here, and it's supposed to teleport us to the beach. Uh, as you can see, this is not exactly the beach. So there might be some problems here. I don't even have the shadow key, so I gotta go back. <laughs> that, that, that was a little scary. Wait, maybe I did have a shadow key. No, I didn't. Good. Good that I came back to get them. Bring both of them. You never know what can happen. But yeah, let's see if I could uh, replicate this here. Talk to my boy right here, Edward. And I buy this potion. Beach teleport teleporter potion. Teleport you to the beach. Side depends on used mouse button. Left mouse. It puts me here. I swear I've used it before and it put me actually on the beach. Okay, um, let's pop a gills potion, night owl, shine, flipper, and let's go. Okay, so it seems like I still take poison damage. I, I really don't know how the abyss works at all, if I'm being honest. Um, there also looks like there's enemies here. It's kind of scary. Let me summon in my summons, I guess. I gotta be kind of quick about this stuff. Yeah, I don't know how the abyss works at all don't remember being here for the longest time so let's hope i don't have too much trouble you guys want to attack the, the things oh god what was that something hit me i don't know what it was oh my god hey kill these kill these things please does that thing work in water i don't think it does okay we're safe my health is still going down really quickly i think it's the water but as long as we aren't in the water we're good i think i don't know so if i could just like find a place to just chill for a little bit maybe even clear out some blocks put down a campfire no i should be i should be vibing down here apparently the angler was down here rest in peace to him no maybe i should use these uh cartographer scrolls i'm gonna use one. Oh, look at that that revealed a lot of stuff rusty chest okay these cartographer scrolls are actually kind of good you no know, worst comes to worst i die i have resurrection potions i'll go right where i just died i think our health is high enough let's go ahead let's hit this up down here a little chest okay how do we open the chest okay it was apparently empty i don't i don't know okay let's get a move on here we're just looking for shadow chests i don't know how deep i have to go to find shadow chests oh bro this is deep oh we're not burning up anymore oh <gasps> go 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 quick shadow chest please give me some goodies yes sir the herring staff that's exactly what we're here for uh there's a couple other things we can get our hands on maybe what is this this chest is just empty these rusty chests they're kind of just bugged out can you guys kill this thing okay you don't have to kill this thing but just let me let me loot this without taking uh, a hit thank you and then i'll be just taking this okay wait I, I want it okay uh you don't have to hit me we have a little bit of breath left we just have to find wait hold up okay don't stand there because that's how you die faster apparently just grab everything we can if it looks like loot just grab it and then we'll get the hell out of here here we go one more shadow chest yes okay guess not we got our hands on the herring staff that's legit all that matters that's all i cared about let's see this thing in action they're for herrings and then i believe they spit water that's what i would assume because if they don't spit water you know I i'm not seeing why they're strong i guess we'll let let's pull up on something wait a minute do i have any boss spawners that isn't turquoise no hold up maybe i have i cthulhu spawners yes sir all right here we go perfect thing to test it out on go ahead boys okay they just look like they dash i really thought they were gonna spit water out but this works just as fine too if i'm being honest they do damage which is all i really need from summons if you're a summon and you are doing damage then you're kind of pointless okay they're really really slow like they they're allowing the i to beat up on me right now like i might die if they don't kill it 
God damn. Given I wasn't putting in much effort to dodge it, but like, you think if I have legit one of the last summons we can get our hands on, almost the last summon in pre hard mode, you think they would slaughter an early hard mode boss? I don't know how to feel about them, man. Okay, I accidentally made way more mana stars than I need to. I thought I needed one more, but let's go ahead. Let's store everything here. Actually, before we store everything, daytime, I was gonna fight the eye one more time and use the this staff on him. But yeah, let's do summon everything. Let's look at what we got here. We picked up this. Reduces creature ability to detect you in the abyss. Reduces the defense reduction in the abyss. Okay, so this thing, if I remember correctly, this thing makes a diver suit eventually? Yeah, here we go. Uh, that has like a whole damn paragraph on it if you want to read that. <laughs> But yeah, well, I wonder what's in the abyssal treasure. Let me let me just organize some stuff here. Let's go ahead, let's store everything, and then we can pop all these open. We already know what the sulfuric treasure gives us. Just a bunch of goodies and gold. But what about the abyssal treasure? Gotta be better, right? We're getting some stew, a dynamite, more gold. Gold's always good. Can I just hold it down? Nope, I gotta click it every time. We're getting some potions. You know, some people were thinking I was cheating in life force potions. Calamity legit gives you life force potions like everywhere. I could cough the wrong way and some people would call me out for cheating. We are good in terms of stuff to do this episode. We completed a lot and all we need to do now is fight the remaining bosses. I don't know who the hell that Deviant is. It's from Fargo's mod. Maybe we'll fight it. I don't know. But we got a handful of gods left. I think we can get a bunch of these done next episode. Uh, I do have an idea of how to fight the perforators. Let me just show you guys the idea here. So we have an NPC. Uh, I think her name is Angela. Yeah, Angela the Operator. And you talk to her and she sells you boss drops and then you can change your shop and she sells treasure bags. So if we go to modded treasure bags, right? And look at this. The perforator treasure bag. We buy one one of these open it and now we have the perforators loot and from the loot aka the blood samples we use the blood samples to craft a bloody worm food to fight the perforator and there you go that's how we fight the perforator very nice uh that costs us a whole platinum but it's all good we'll probably make it back we got this right here bloody worm tooth i don't know if i'm gonna use any of these accessories if i'm being honest only because like I feel like my accessories are not too bad. I don't know. Unless I want to get rid of the fungal clump. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel like the fungal clump is the craziest accessory. Uh, it was helpful early on. But now, I, I don't know. It's, it's okay. But yeah. We'll save this for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I may start doing this series alongside, you know, the Master Mode Summoner reboot since that's out. But also, the day I'm recording this, I have like three more days before I leave for the little mini vacation I'm going on. Where I'll only be gone for like three four days. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Follow my Twitch. <laughs>